All right, here we are, guys. Hole number two. I'm not sure if this is going to be an iron or a wood. I really don't remember. Uh, I did play this in Tour 4, but I just, it's been a while. Looks like it's going to be a backbone. What I'm going to recommend that you guys use is probably a uh, quasar ball here and backbone. You can see my opponent here has a backbone 9. Um, should be in the neighborhood of 1.4 per ring with that accuracy, 80-ish. So about three rings on this adjustment. May or may not need some curl. My opponent probably does because it doesn't have, you know, that side spin option. However, you can also see where they landed. It was very close to kind of the top of that hill. You probably want to pick a side, and I would probably prefer to land on the left side. And you can just play kind of the left of that fairway as opposed to landing very close to the top of that hill where you won't know if it's going to bounce right or left. You want to probably pick a definitive land zone like this, for example. Now, on this side, you can see that it's definitely going to uh, roll out towards the left. It's going to bounce off that hill and bounce left. So you'll see that I kind of overplay the guide a little bit with... Maybe about one and a half on my spin here, back spin. I'm going to play just short of three rings here. And let it fly. Perfect ball. So far so good. Just off. So you'll see that this Hole will be very straightforward, very easy. Um, you shouldn't have any real problem. Once again, as I mentioned, you know, to save some time, we're just going to forfeit out. I have no intentions on qualifying today for you guys. Um, I'm not going to play rookie or pro tournaments at all, so this will be kind of a one-and-done guide. But good luck with that hole, guys, and I'll catch you guys for hole three coming up.